Hey guys, don't go anywhere. In today's video, we're going to be looking at all of the merchandise in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We're going into every store, looking at every shop, lightsabers, Jedi robes, droids, keychains, everything. So kick back, grab a refreshment, and let's do this. Hello to all you Star Wars fans out there. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really appreciate it. This is Finding the Force, where I make videos about anything Star Wars, mostly lightsabers. And don't worry, you're not going to be shopping alone. You're going to be shopping with your good old pal, Obi Dad Kenobi. Hello there. Don't be afraid. That's my Obi uh, Wan Kenobi impression. If you guys haven't already, I please encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It would really help me out, and the channel it goes a long way. Also hit that like button and feel free to click the share button. Share this link with a friend of yours who was asking you about Star Wars merchandise and what's available. I might do these videos more often on my trips down to the park if you guys really enjoy them. In today's video, we're going to be walking through Galaxy's Edge looking at all the merchandise, including the Jedi robes and tunics, lightsabers, statues. We're going to look at all of it. And this is only merchandise you can find in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge or the other Galaxy's Edge stores on Disney property. We have got so much stuff to see, so get comfortable and let's start this video. And here we find ourselves at the Creature Stall where they have tons of unique and crazy little animals and creatures that you can bring home that could terrify your kids or be a fun uh, stuffed animal to keep on the bed. They also have these new pummel caps that I need to, I forgot to pick up and they have Ahsoka's Owl are the two newest added pummel caps that you can put on your Savi's Workshop lightsabers. They got Loth cats and these little cow creatures. I can't remember all their names. Please forgive me. They all have some kind of magic that they're hiding. The Loth cats are actually have animatronic eyes and you can activate different voices, you know, with their legs and their tail. We got these monkey lizards that I have one of those in my office. He's always laughing and cackling at me. But yeah, all their creatures that they have in here usually make a sound or have some kind of a neat animatronic movement to them. The monkey lizards can actually sit on your shoulder and you can make them laugh and turn their head and really makes it look like they're alive. And bringing home this little loth cat buddy is going to cost you $55. And they even have creature stall shirts and other kinds of creature merchandise in there too. If you are a fan of the, that terrifying monster that was lurking inside of the trash compactor for Luke and Han, I forget its name, comment down below if you'd like to help me re recall that. And a coin purse you could bring back for your grandmother with a cute little porg on it. Poor keychains, gotta love them, gotta have them. They're good luck if you rub their bellies. And a happy mother. I don't know why I think it's a mommy, a sleeping loth cat in there. Look at that, happy as can be, even though they're quite ferocious. And that's the Toydarian Toy Maker store has very authentic in-universe plushies that have been made for all the kids of the Black Spire Outpost from all the stories that the Toydarian owner has heard over the years. And most recently, the Mandalorian, you can buy a small baby Yoda, a big baby Yoda, all soft and cuddly. You're not going to find a lot of hard plastic in this store. There's a little bit. Tons of plushies of all your favorite Star Wars characters. And there is the silhouette of Zabaka, the owner of the Toydarian Toymaker Shop. I thought some of these were so unique. You can play Sabak, like in the movie Solo between Han and and Lando Calrissian, different from the Sabacc game you can pick up on the Star Cruiser. Look at that, a Dejark board game of your own, which also flips over and allows you to play checkers. I am so curious about how you play the actual Dejark game. I want to read those instructions so bad. And look at that, it's one of the instruments from the Cantina Band, and it really does play sounds. Check this out. So I don't know if all of these old-timey toys are going to keep your kids entertained, but they do look very in-universe for any of you who want like a really authentic look to uh, a Star Wars themed room or office of yours. Man, that is a really tall Darth Vader, Boba Fett, 
Looks like it has been hand carved and made there in the Black Spire Outpost. Even those Millennium Falcon and the AT Walkers look like they've been kind of assembled with pieces of scrap metal. Lots of rivets have kind of a steampunk look to them if that's your thing. These are definitely souvenirs you're gonna to wanna to think about picking up for under $20. You cannot, uh, you cannot beat that price, you're there. And if there's something that I've learned about shopping or picking up souvenirs is when you see it, buy it now and then. When you come back to that store later, it may be sold out, you may not be able to find it, or sometimes store closes. Uh, sometimes stores close before you even want them to. <laughs> uh, very old time he looked to the toys. And uh, who doesn't want a plush of the always terrifying Darth Maul? who looks like he came straight from the underworld. I know I do. Must bring lots of good dreams to the bedroom. Look at that little Doc. You know, I always thought Doc was a little uh, strange looking, but that is an adorable plush. And we have made our way to the Droid Depot, which if you thought only sold droids, you are mistaken, my friend. They sell tons of stuff, everything from backpacks to salad bowls, Let's get started and dive right in. This is a new style of droid backpack that you can pick up with a certain package. You can buy it individually, but they do offer packages if you wanted a voice chip, a droid, and a backpack. It's like some price. But hey, even if you didn't have a droid, it's still a cool Star Wars themed bag that you could bring to school. Oh my gosh, this Bobo Frig, I was so close to buying him. He's probably one of my favorite parts of The Rise of Skywalker. He light, his eyes light up, he makes sounds, I believe he moves. We got a chopper droid for all of you fans of the Star Wars Rebels series. And there was Scott, Disneyland nurse from Instagram. Make sure after the video to check out his social media. And down below here is DJ Rex. I still definitely want him. His arms and legs move, he's a Bluetooth speaker, and he's way bigger than you think he is. And I think probably one of the newest additions to the Droid Depot merchandise is there's a lot of apparel, like the sweatshirt, they have t-shirts that you'll see, I think even some tank tops. They come in all sizes for adults and younglings. Look at that, that's such a cool belt, like a utility belt for like a, someone working on their droids because you can take them apart, interchange heads. You can buy a bunch of accessories, whether it has blasters or a jet pack and your younglings can pretend like they're working on them. Nothing like building your very own friend. Droid keychains. There we go. I told you they had some tank tops in that lovely shade of orange. Um, people will think you're, that you're a construction worker, but that's okay. You know you're a Star Wars fan. $40 for that shirt that has three-in-one pockets. Fancy, in case you're going out to a nice dinner at TGI Fridays. I think these are the mystery droid boxes that we have coming up here, but they have got droids of all shapes and sizes and prices. This is the new R2-D2 dome that you can buy that has extra light or two in the front and back. It has a really cool effect because the original R2 droid dome, uh, there we go, comes with the light up red dots and even that blue horizontal light on the back of his head is kind of enhanced. So definitely beefs up your R2 droid. And this really large to scale C-3PO that goes with R2-D2 makes a lot of cool sound effects and you can actually pull his head and arms off. Pretty unique. I got mine signed by Anthony Daniels. Feel free to check out that video from the Star Wars Celebration Convention. And over here, oh, there's all those mystery droid boxes I was talking about. Black series droid box set. That's like $49.95, I believe. Very cool IG-11 Bounty Hunter Nurse Droid T-shirt, $39.99. Roger, Roger. Separatist Droid has tons of different voice lines. He's also pretty tall, comes with a blaster. Bounty Hunter sweatshirts. Let's see, we've got some pins for your backpacks and clothes and the Fairy Droid accessory set that will attach to any of the R-Unit droids from the Droid Depot. Look at all those colors of the different panels. There are the accessories I was mentioning, the jetpacks, the blasters, they've got teal, they've got gold. So you can make it your own style, even though I totally recommend sending it to my buddy Tuner on Instagram. Check him out, he does a fantastic job weathering, making your droid look straight out of the galaxy far, far away. Those droids didn't make it very far, poor things. At least they're getting a lot of 
attention in the store. And they, I believe they do have an extra voice or two voice chips for the droids, the R units, and the BBs. I found my favorite. I forget what color it is. I think it's a gray smuggler out of all of the different sound droids. Comment down below if you'd like to share your favorite new voice chip color. And these are pretty neat that they have two different variations of R unit backings that can pull these neat little pieces of cargo. Look at that. They can be hauling and put. you can put your droid to work around your house and uh, maybe even if you're lucky, scratch up your natural wood floors. I'm just kidding. Yeah, there's like these blue crates and also we've seen those all over the Star Wars galaxy. Those uh, white, you know, multi-sided uh, storage crates. Make for a fun accessory that will help get a lot of, oh, a third, a third design for with a tow cable. And uh, hopefully we'll get a lot more replayability with your droids and your younglings so they don't just end up on a shelf. And here's the droid conveyor belt where you can pick any size or shape of droid parts to construct your very own robotic friend. We can venture into a whole nother room where you might see some of the same items, but also some new ones. Is that a droid bow to put in your hair? They have thought of everything. I love the classic R2-D2, and I think all the R-Unit droids sound like that defaulted. They sound like R2 until you put in a voice chip. They have some more unique souvenirs over here. They have 3D puzzles that are metallic. I think these pla must be more plastic because they glow, but they also have metallic uh, ones around here somewhere. More droid shirts of all sizes and colors. And this is one of the souvenirs, you know, these souvenirs you can construct yourself. Everything from, oh, they've got DJ Rex, C-3PO, they have Separatist droids, and uh, it looks like they're having a hard time making them nice and round and ball-shaped, but it's still kind of fun to build your own souvenirs. Larger signs for your man cave or garage, the Jawa Salvage, that's pretty original, I like that, that's kind of funny. And there's the chopper droid, we got more of those. Got some statues here. That looks like a BB droid to the left, kind of a steampunk look. That's the Black Series five-figure set. Kind of pricey for having some smaller plastic droid figures, but these are more unique droids that you might have trouble finding individually. Tons of pins, pins. I know you Disney fans love to collect them. And for you Star Wars fans, a lot of droid pins, tons to choose from, and can also make a really inexpensive souvenir that you can keep on your backpack and remember your trip to Galaxy's Edge. Teal blue, shirts for the whole family, making our way through the Droid Depot gift shop. R2-D2 mugs, who doesn't want one of those? Another cool Droid Depot sign, really reflective, hard to see that one with my camera. And here we get to more of the unique souvenirs. I wonder if that's like a, a wine bottle plug. We've got different, hey, look at that. Droid Builders coffee mugs when you're sipping on something warm in the winter time. Look at that. You can have a droid hand holding up the picture of your family from your trip to Batu. Is that a Droid Depot tote bag for your groceries? Whatever. And I think lastly here to wrap up the store, there is a bunch of different droid t-shirts. So you're bound to find a t-shirt with your favorite droid on it from the Star Wars movies. There's L3 from the Solo movie. She was packed with personality, super funny, really needed her in the film. R2, our favorite and the original. And some unique shapes and sizes. I mean, look, look at that unique style. It has a couple that looks like patches that were stitched on your shirt. I love V-necks, personally a fan. And we have to come outside here and take a look at these droids in person that look like they walked right out of the movies. We've got the Gonk droid on the far left. That's an R1. And so this new item, which is the first thing to greet you at the Black Spire Outfitters, is a new cloak. Not a Jedi robe, but the cloak that Luke Skywalker wears when he enters Jabba's palace in Return of the Jedi for $100. It is a really nice light. You could actually see the light through it is a light material. I love the way that it's been cut and they perfected the baggy hood. So I did pick that up. I can't wait to show you guys. Now look at all the Bounty Hunter merch they've got up in here. That is a pretty epic Boba Fett 
Mythosaur Skull Statue. That's definitely going to stand out. Kind of bummed I didn't pick that up. I do, however, own this Mythosaur Skull mug. For any of you super fans out there, you've probably heard me say only once or twice that I have like a Star Wars drink cup collection. It just really makes the mundane work week that much more fun. And did you know that they had tons of this Boba Fett armor for younglings? They've got the helmet. Look at that, a rocket projects out of the jetpack and also has his gauntlets with like shooting discs and balls. Every youngling's dream. They still have the same Jedi tunics and robes that they had when they first opened, which I have done a review on with my son, Atlantic and Skywalker. Here's an update. Here's take a snapshot of this. Here's the size chart for you when it comes to youth or adult sizes. That definitely comes in handy if you're thinking about ordering something from our official smuggler, Kevin, back to smuggler77. Make sure to hit him up on Instagram if you're looking for something. But these robes are so hot. You have got to live in Alaska or it's gotta be like 40 degrees outside to wear that sucker outside and feel comfortable. I wonder how those Savvy's Workshop lightsabers sound resonating through that large glorious owl head. Look at that, mother and daughter can both be dressed as Rey. How adorable for uh, Halloween or the next cosplay convention. They look very authentic. They seem to have all the right pieces and the arm wraps. They're kind of elastic near the wrist and then you finish them off by wrapping it up near your forearm. That one is uh, looks like it's for a younger size, $99.99. Landon has those, uh, has that black Jedi belt. Very well built if you've never had one in your hands before. There's Velcro in the back and like a cuff that slides over it, but it does come with one pouch on the side, which could hold a few knickknacks. Not quite a cell phone though. These are almost all of the animal pommel caps they released. No other lightsaber pieces, just those. And this is the outfit I use for my Obi-Wan cosplay. I love that it's styled and cut to look just like a Jedi and everything is all in one piece. Your tabards are not falling off your shoulders. And this piece is new, looks like a worker's hat, really wide brim, should give you and your neck some shade in the hot summer months. I don't think this belongs to a character, but if I'm wrong, please let me know down in the comments. You guys are all so good at that. We also can't forget Ray's staff. Pretty well built, one strong, I think it might break into smaller pieces because you gotta transport it home somehow, right? But overall, I remember it being really strong and being a pretty decent cosplay item to help with your outfit. That staff looks like it's running about $30. Now this little hole in the wall store has got tons of treasures and knickknacks. It's called Jewels of Bith. I believe these new in-universe looking coffee mugs are new and those wooden coasters had a cool kind of hand carved look to them. The fact that they seem to have different shirts, cups, merchandise at every store does make it much more fun to adventure and explore all around their different stores because I haven't seen it, for example, these Black Spire water bottles or those, that kind of artwork on the t-shirts of, uh, looks like R2 and Chewbacca roaming around Galaxy's Edge for $24.99. I haven't seen that at any other store. They really keep certain items specific to certain stores. Very unique backpacks, red red trim with that satchel design. Is that a Tauntaun keychain? How did I miss that? And here's an up close look at one of these misters for $20 on a hot day. That'll come in handy and has a really cool in-universe style to it. Keychains, keychains. Is that a pin or a magnet? I can't tell, but they have lots of smaller souvenirs that look like they're gonna price for $20 and below. I'm not sure about those kind of big dangly flashy keychains. It looks like they get banged up by my keys until they looked unrecognizable. Hey, that's pretty neat, an arabesque translator that you could keep with you. Large plank of wood might get uncomfortable in your pocket. We've got patches and pins galore in this store. Uh, no, I apologize, those are pins. They got pins, it looks like it's from all the different stores like Savi's and the blue milk cart. And that is a data storage stick. You can plug that in, that's a USB. It's a little bit more of a fun way to save your projects and uh, some extra files. Want Baby Yoda on a pin? You can come to this store. 
Pins galore. That pin to the left there with the two lightsabers. Got that for Lanikin on the opening day. Not limited edition, obviously, but probably one of my favorites. But it seems like they're always getting in new pins, getting rid of old pins. Love the authentic feel to the store. Every store here is said to have a backstory. I don't know the one to this. If you do, feel free to comment down below. Picture frames, mugs, keychains, more practical things in this store. Even this new style of shirt, I have not seen this at any other store in Galaxy's Edge. Shirts are usually around $20. Let's see this bad boy here. Finished my blue milk, $36.99. I was way off. And there's the Millennium Falcon with the black spires. What a neat statue. I really like that. I have thought about getting that, haven't pulled the trigger yet. And here's an up close look of those new mugs. Uh, two different kinds of coffee mugs from the black spire. And way out on the outskirts of the Black Spire Outpost is the Resistance Base. There are two stands with souvenirs that you will find exiting the Rise of the Resistance attraction. It looks like a lot of the merchandise on this side of the cart is very wearable. We have this Resistance shirt, red and blue over the sleeve. That is such a neat and authentic outfit that Leia wears in uh, Return of the Jedi on Endor. What a cool look. And for any of you who, that, that'd make a pretty easy costume too. That with a pair of boots and pants and you have a whole outfit pretty much finished. Now these look just like the Black Series. I encourage you to buy the Black Series because it's electronic, there's two settings, and there's, it lights up on the face shield and you can hear sounds of either X-Wings or speeders from Hoth. Really neat, not that expensive, pretty easy to find. The helmets they sell here do make sounds, but not nearly as much as the Black Series. The pads look a little loose to me. They should be more secure to fit right over where your ears are located. I'd be a little weary about buying those, but for the kid size helmets, you do have two different colors and shapes. They have a red Podamron Youngling helmet and also a blue Resistance Fighter Pilot helmet. They are electronic. You can see the little speaker right in there over the forehead, but your head is being secured by like a plastic rim going around, which is probably gonna bother your forehead after a little bit. But hey, if your kids go bonkers for it, if they love flying and this totally makes their day, go for it. Looks like $59.99 for the helmets die cast miniature vehicle like replicas of the different starships could keep your kid entertained and might be one of the lower priced items this is one of the han solo vests 49.99 also go with his shirt that we saw a little bit earlier there we go the han solo shirt very signature look much easier and much faster to pick it up here than it would to put in an order with someone on etsy these carts have four sides to them, so we want to make sure we don't miss any of the merchandise. Looks like we have a couple of shirts, a tank top here. I notice everything is really themed to the resistance, but a very unique style though. Has that seam that kind of goes across the chest, has the Rebellion logo in the corner. Nothing says I went on a trip throughout the galaxy like a coffee mug. Black Spire Outpost, love the color orange, not really. A lot of their clothing has kind of some in-universe stitching to it to make it really stand out and look more like a souvenir and not just like a generic sweatshirt with some logos. It has a whole variety of patches and keychains. If you're looking for a smaller souvenir, what have we got here? Black Spire Outpost data pad. Looks like a bunch of different greeblies you can attach however you want to make your cell phone look more in-universe of the Star Wars galaxy. $44.99 for that. You know, and that cell phone case looked like it had a little bit of meat to it. It should be somewhat protective, you know. Let's see, what do we have over on this side? More of those die-cast vehicles, Falcon and X-Wings. For any younglings out there who want to have a little adventure in their stroller. Pretty good buys. Can't be too expensive. Do you guys want to know why I love doing voiceovers? Because I can eat snacks. Mmm. And you guys totally can't even see. Oh, I love this. And there you go, we got t-shirts, blankets, a little bit of everything over here on these carts. Let's see what's around the corner. Got some Star Wars, oh look at that, a little vest for the younglings, how adorable, with tons of pockets for all the little treasures, or, you know, dad's change, whatever they can get their hands on, ketchup packets or something. 
And it looks like we have more of the similar merchandise on this last side of the cart here. We have some Star Wars sequels t-shirts, $39.99. More die-cast vehicles. Over here we have some more feminine style of shirts, $39.99. And I have to say that's a pretty unique style of shirt, $39 as well, red with uh, some gold emblems. And in case you didn't know who this lady with the blue hair is, her name is Vi Moradi, and she is Princess Leia's top secret spy and can be found roaming around Batu. And that is it for the Resistance Outfitters. And the opposite of the Resistance Supply is the First Order Cargo. Hey Scott, what's up? This store has got everything dark side and even a full replica Stormtrooper outfit that you can buy that's like somewhere around seven or $9,000, I think. Haven't heard of anyone picking it up, but if I do, I'll let you know. Look at those, we got uh, cool binders, they call them, those electric handcuffs, all kinds of weapons you would need to to uh, arrest and detain resistant scum. Got some cool small die cast vehicles and also the first order short range evacuation vehicle. Haven't seen that. Is that, oh, that's the evacuation vehicle that you ride in Rise of the Resistance that you escape with because you're escaping a Star Destroyer. Does make some really cool sounds with all the different buttons on the side and comes with a droid. It's probably a fortune. We got die cast big ATs, TIE Fighters, and there's the TIE Echelon that almost made it into one of the films, but missed by a smidge. Another Black Series crate. It looks like they had a Black Series box in every store. This one's got General Hux. We got an AT Driver Trooper and a little mouse medical repair droid. How adorable. Boy, that was one angry ginger, let me tell you. $74.99 for that box set. Moving right along, we got, I saw Vader and Kylo Ren lightsabers down below. Those are some pretty sleek first order bags. They look like side bags or backpacks. Yep, got one of those. Love these sabers, they're only $30. The Kylo Ren flickers and you will not give two cares about turning your kids loose with it. Not a big deal if they're whacking on rocks or beating each other up. They're not super sharp on the main blade. So uh, overall, pretty c good, clean Jedi fun. Now, that's a pretty awesome sign. I think it's even a flag. Tons of, of Stormtrooper everything in here. Coffee mugs, pins. Just to give you an idea, if you were looking for an item like this, here you go. All the different styles of pins that are available right now in September during the D23 convention. We've got shirts, we've got jackets. This looks like if you're a soccer player and you got a soft spot for the, the first order, you could wear that. T-shirt, first order, $39.99. Here's another close-up look of that bag. That is a pretty legit Stormtrooper outfit for a young, actually, is that for an adult? I presume that's an adult, but that mask to the right is not a full helmet. It just covers like two thirds of the front of your head. Makes some cool sound cues. A hundred dollars. That looks- Sir, resistance fighters. We're taking you into custody. And down below these masks, we have a shock trooper shield and baton. How cool is that? That totally looks like it lights up. Lannikin would totally geek out on that. And you've got some first order officer jumpsuits with those nice greeblies on the chest there. That's going for $130. Oh, that's not even a whole outfit. That's just like a nice legit jacket. And this is the movie replica Stormtrooper outfit that is for sale, although I don't think they wanna promote that it costs like almost $10,000. So there's no sign up in front. Another $50 sign seems like the common price for those and we have another set of the kylo ren outfits which you can also find in doc ondars those are pretty new just came out in the last couple of months really nice thin material if you want to be kylo ren and you don't want to be sweating like crazy you just want to put on a black wig this is the outfit you're looking at 50 dollars for that i think that might even be just the belt you're still going to spend about 200 dollars, but of a heck of a lot cooler than his more Signature outfit. Stormtrooper younglings. Can't get enough of them. 
And here's the rest of the accessories for the Kylo Ren outfit. I really wanted to get it. I was so close on pulling the trigger. Couldn't bring myself to do it though. I have the helmet, I have the lightsaber. Should I do a full Kylo Ren cosplay? Let me, don't, let me know down in the comments. But I'm really impressed with the quality of that belt. If you're looking to do a Kylo Ren cosplay, you better check that belt out. And we finished the store on the left side here with a few more shirts of the first order. It looks like $40 is a very common price we've seen on most of the shirts today. And you gotta love all the blasters and helmets that make the store feel really authentic like you're in a galaxy far, far away. Here we are walking into Doc Ondor's and there's Disneyland Nurse waiting for me. We were here for the D23 Disney convention. And walking right in, we have some new merchandise at Doc Ondor's. Those really cool busts are reasonably priced, I think. But here we have these mugs that are designed just like the artwork when you first walk into the store. And this artwork was inspired by that large piece of artwork that we see in the scene where Palpatine starts to get into Anakin's head and they're having this private conversation in his office. So that's a pretty unique mug you're not gonna find everywhere. Here is a small statue here that looks like there's Doc. I think it could also be a part of that artwork, um, a, a piece of it. That's going for $49.99. So quite an expensive uh, this little statue to keep on your desk. I actually bought this Sarlacc to keep next to my Boba Fett head and uh, you can put something inside of it. It's not quite a bank, it comes out, but when you open the lid, it turns on. There we go, just like that. Those little tentacles swirl around and you can put things inside. Lots of small statues. Okay, in my last merchandise video, I wasn't sure whose outfit this was. This is Ahsoka Tano's outfit they're selling at Doc Ondar's. This is, they have a belt with the shawl or whatever you wanna call it. And I was so busy looking at Ahsoka's lightsaber, her headdress. The beautiful acting of Rosario Dawson, I didn't even notice her outfit. So when I saw this in a previous video, I didn't know where it had come from. Uh, there we go, Maz Kanata statue, $130. Whoa, a little pricey for that. And uh, that is the outfit of Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian. Very unique, looks like it be has beautiful stitching and has. And most of their outfits here have very unique style and stitching to them. You're gonna be very hard pressed to find this anywhere else. And this also looks like some, I think this is like a vest or some other added piece to the costume. Comes in different sizes, $80 for that. So you're probably looking at getting over 200, probably for the belt, the shawl, and the, made the larger piece of the outfit there. All right, moving on throughout the store. Why not? Water bottles for Stormtroopers of the Empire. In case you're parched, they have all kinds of neat and unique souvenirs padded shoulder armor. I don't know if those stick to your clothes or not. Comment down below. $19.95 for those. They also have uh, ones with Jedi. So if you have any kind of cosplay you're making for yourself, making your own unique character, you can add those if you wanted to do that. They had some larger signs I noticed. I love larger signs like that. It's really gonna stick out in your room or office. These are really cool. These are new Kyber crystal necklaces. I wish they light up. They don't but they, are, they do a very cool, unique design to them. I was compelled, didn't pick one up. The Empire Emblem, you can pretend like your character got an award during his time on the Death Star. There's another larger sign, that's pretty cool, Vader, $49.95. So you're gonna pay for that larger decoration, but also it's gonna add a lot of value to your room. Love this Palpatine statue, is, uh, is bust. I think I have to pick one of those up. Landon will freak out. Now these statues look very familiar. I think they've been here since the opening. I can't make out exactly how much those smaller gold busts go for. It looks like $40, but these really neat pewter Yoda busts, I bought one. They're only $19.95, and I thought that is such a cool decoration I'd love to have in my studio, on my background, so I did pick him up. He's one of my favorite top three Star Wars characters of all time. Jedi patch set, could go with any of your cosplay, put it on a backpack. I think statues are becoming much more popular in uh, the sci-fi cosplay world. And here's a very in-universe style of mug that you could see a Jedi sipping some tea after his meditation. And if they had a Luke Skywalker bust from any of the original trilogy, I would buy that up so fast. 
Kind of sad that it's from the sequels. Not my favorite, but I still enjoy them. Here are more Kyber crystal necklaces. I think we saw red, we saw black, and now we have white for the Jedi over here. Oh, look at that. From winning the Battle of Yavin, Luke and Han got a gold medal from Princess Leia. What about Chewie? Where's Chewie's medal? There it is. $30. That's really not bad for that really well-made Star Wars collectible. And these are spirit jerseys. I know these are a fan favorite of all you Disney fans out there. So now they have a Star Wars Jedi spirit jersey. Kind of baggy. I didn't try them on, but it looks like it's uh, made with a nice, flexible, stretchy material. Double XL. Let's see how much is that going for. $39.99. Not bad. And down below here are the Jedi shoulder armor, which would look really cool with any kind of an Obi-Wan Clone Wars cosplay. A Rey satchel looking very rugged and uh, rustic, very in-universe. Let's see, what's that going for? $39.99. And a full Rey cosplay outfit of her signature look. There's Disneyland Nurse with his Padawan saber. They still have those really fun, inexpensive souvenirs for the younglings. And here is for the missus who has expensive taste. Anywhere from $400 to $2,000 jewelry that you've seen in the films. That necklace that's a half moon. You know we saw that in the sequels. And that's a pretty unique souvenir to the left. That's a Starfinder that Luke shows off in Star Wars Battlefront game series during the story mode. And the store is so beautifully decorated, you could stand in there and look at stuff for hours. Here are the plastic sabers, the Skywalker, the Green Luke, the Kylo Ren, and also a Darth Vader. They also have a plastic Obi-Wan lightsaber. Fun fact, it's in Star Traders after Space Mountain, but it is not the one with a removable blade. And the removable blade is only available on Shop Disney. Look at those awesome artifacts up there in Doc Ondor's store. It looks like they are finally restocked with Sith and Jedi holocrons, which of course you can put your kyber crystals in and hear voices from your favorite characters from the crystal that you picked out during your time at the Savi's workshop building your own lightsaber. I wish that glorious Yoda bust was for sale. It's huge and I wish they sold it. I don't think they do. And this is the, <laughs> the disgusting innards moving inside of the Sarlacc. If you've ever taken a minute to look down inside. More merchandise for all of you on the dark side of the force. There's a pretty intricate youngling Darth Vader outfit that comes with everything. Even that cool leathery type belt doesn't light up like the one on Shop Disney does. And that is 149. Dang. So if your little son or daughter wants to be Darth Vader, I hope you say it. I'm, I know this Darth Vader castle from Mustafar has been there since opening day. Pretty glorious. Also lights up. And this is the newer Kylo Ren look to, I believe, the last Jedi film. And it comes with everything. His $100 for his undercloak. But look at those, the patterning on the sleeves. Very unique. And it's not his signature look, but I can appreciate the more functionality of this outfit comes with the cloak has a really nice leathery feel to it actually and you can't forget about the legit Kylo Ren belt is also sold there as well so all you need is some black pants some black generic boots and you've got your whole cosplay worked out this glorious statue of Snoke who I thought died a little too easily in the sequels what do you think comment down below 1999 looks like one of the Knights of Ren I could be wrong. I'm sure you all will be correcting me in the comments if it's not because we're doing the first order merchandise. But these busts are really inexpensive and a great souvenir to pick up if you didn't want to spring for a lightsaber. Plenty of different statues. And for all of you Darth Maul fans out there, you have this mini bust. Very detailed. Looks like it's hand carved. Such a cool look to it. It's not a perfect sculpted Darth Maul, but looks like it was carved and chiseled out of stone of some kind. Very in-universe decoration or collectible to add to your office or room or your living space. Lightsabers! 
feast your eyes on all these Jedi weapons. Rey Reforged, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Cal Kestis, Darth Vader, Kylo Ren. They've got tons in stock for you to choose from. Every color of the rainbow of kyber crystals and those those bronze colored crystals are, I think, are actually eight ball crystals of Yoda and Darth Vader, so they'll answer yes or no questions. For all of you who stayed and watched the entire video with me, thank you so much for your support. I loved having you along for the ride. Leave a comment down below, start a conversation, join in on one. What was your favorite piece of merchandise? Was there something you thought was way overpriced? Oh, and by the way, guys, you can, of course, buy merchandise like mugs and their Savi's Workshop lightsabers you can purchase in Galaxy's Edge. But this is really more of a retail video where anyone could walk up to a store and take a look around at what they had available. So again, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you guys stay safe out there and make sure to have an awesome Star Wars day.